Hello and welcome to number three, Ardna Guija in Annis County Clare. This is a very nicely presented three bedroom mid terraced home located in this very small cul de sac development just off the golf links road in the heart of Annis Town. All of the amenities are within a short stroll with easy access to Ennis Golf Club, which is literally just 800 metres from this home, and of course the inner relief road linking you onto the M18. So, a great commuter home and an ideal first time buyer or investor, or indeed somebody looking to downsize, particularly due to its proximity to all of the amenities. So, let's take a peek at the inside of this fantastic three bedroom home. As I mentioned from the start of the video, this is a very nicely presented home, and you'll really appreciate that as we continue this video tour throughout this property. Good quality tiling as you enter into the hallway, simple finishes like your radiator cover, really good quality carpeted uh, polished rail stairs leading to the first floor landing, and that of course has ample understair storage positioned just here. The layout is again very simple layout, your typical three bedroom home. You have your main reception here to the right hand side, kitchen dining straight ahead of us, and then the owner extended the property to the rear, which you'll see very shortly to facilitate kind of an extension to the, to the utility dash kitchen. So the main reception positioned here, and again, you can see the good quality timber flooring. This is a semi-solid oak floor. You have your cast iron surround feature fireplace, good quality fixtures and fittings as well, including your lights, your blinds, you know, your doors that were all upgraded over the years, and you have your built-in fireside unit there as well, where you can have your TV, additional base storage, and indeed eye level uh, shelving here to the right hand side as well. So overall, a very, very nice room and very, very nicely maintained by the current owners. So popping back into the hallway and as we head into the kitchen, you're into a really nice space here. The open plan kitchen dining, and of course that connects back into that main reception. Again, as I mentioned, the quality of the fixtures and fittings, and that would include the lights. You have your ceiling mounted spotlighting unit here as you have indeed in the kitchen as well. Really, really nice kitchen, nicely presented, very, very well maintained, but again, it's a good quality, a very good quality product from what we see on, on our inspection here. You have the tile splash back surround, eye level glass display units, your single drainer sink, and nice little touch now with the integrated baskets, and you can pull those out obviously as well. Uh, just giving a nice country feel to what is a kind of a country design type kitchen anyway. You have your typical space for your electrical appliances and again that good quality tiling that continues right into the dining area and into that main reception. The owner retained this open arch here in case the buyer or if down the road they wanted to make this more of a sun lounge or more of a formal dining. But this is a really really nice space, great idea by them to kind of put a Slightly raised roof on this as well with the recessed lighting and additional light coming in via the Velux. Your built-in wall and base units. So they configured this to be the utility dash extension to the kitchen. Um, but the buyer may decide that they want to put the washing machine and dryer into that block built uh, rear shed, which we'll take a peek at in, in, in a short while. Um, nice door there and you can see the way the brick paving from outside uh, comes up to meet it as well. Uh, so overall, nice space, plenty of storage there again, and that room offers great potential for whatever it may be. Even if you have require a playroom or whatever else, that space is absolutely ideal, particularly when it connects to the back of the house as well, uh, in, or the back garden, I should say. So back into the hallway, we have that under stair storage here to our right hand side, and we pop up the stairs, and give you a peek on the layout of this and of course the finishes. So as we arrive onto the first floor landing, the, we just to give you an idea again, we've come up the stairs onto the landing. You have access to additional attic storage. The door straight ahead of me here, which is into the front of the house. So you have your main bathroom and a bedroom here to the front. You have your hot press house and immersion tank and shelving here in the middle. And then you have two bedrooms to the rear of the property. This one being the double room with the oak style timber flooring and you have your built-in wardrobes here to the right hand side with your mirrored door. And then back into the hallway, you have, and it's actually another double room. You would comfortably get a four foot double into this room. And again, that has that oak style timber flooring here as well. 
back onto the landing and into the third bedroom. That same floor carried right through into here. And this has your built-in wardrobes and that has the integrated shelving, plenty of hanging rails, plenty of storage. So overall, um, no shortage of storage in the house, particularly with that block built garden shed and indeed that extension to the rear of the kitchen. So then we're into the final piece of our interior accommodation and that is the main bathroom. Once again, you can see the quality of finish. Excellent tiling ceiling to floor, good quality sanitary wear, sliding, or sliding um, shower door, and you have your overhead electric shower there as well. So then as we arrive back downstairs, and just to give you a look at the outside of the house, and again, as I mentioned that finish earlier, the brick paving, nice border finishes, and even down to the, to the, to the, Timber fence, again, nicely finished and very, very well presented. Your block built garden shed here to the back. You can see your oil tank, your, your oil burner is inside in that shed as well. But overall, a very, very nice presentation to an overall really gem of a house in the heart of Venice town. If you would like further information on number three Ardnagwiha, please feel free to call us on 065-6840200 or email us info at dngosullivanhurley.com. Thank you very much for watching.